Hello everyone, Mike Remperl from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to calculate the average sales of a list of accounts but eliminating the top and bottom say 2% of our accounts. And we're going to do this in two different ways, a somewhat complex formula and then using a very simple function that Excel provides called trim mean. So let's take a look and see how we can do this in Excel. So here we have a list of accounts, and I'm just going to do a control N and see that we have 500 different accounts here. And what we want to do, again, our goal is to calculate the average sales, eliminating the top five and the bottom five accounts. So we can see what our average is, but without those outliers that could distort that. Okay, so I'm going to just create a several formulas here. The first one I want to do is just what's my number of accounts? And I'm going to say equals count. And count just returns the number of cells in a range that contain numbers. So I'm just going to select column B. And you can see I have 500 accounts there. And what's my total sales? Alt equals. And again, I'm going to select column B. Hit enter. And I have a billion, 354 million. Had a heck of a year. Uh, great sales numbers there for those 500 accounts. So you can see those total sales. So what's my average sales? Well, I can do that one of two ways. I could just say equals total sales divided by the number of accounts, and I'm going to get 2,709,000. Or I can do equals average, and again, select column B, and I get 2,709,000. Either way, I get the same answer there. Now, I need to get the sum of the top five and bottom five so I can subtract that from my total. Now, how we're going to do that is using the sum ifs function. So I'm going to type equals sum ifs that adds the cell specified by a given set of conditions or criteria. Now, my sum range is going to be column B, which is my total sales. My criteria range is also going to be column B, and my criteria is what is equal to or greater than the fifth largest. That'll give me my top five. So to do that, I'm going to put in quotes greater than or equal to, and I'm going to concatenate that with the large function. My array is column B, and my K number is 5. So what I've done is to say, give me the sum in column B where the criteria of column B is greater than or equal to the fifth largest in that column, and that'll give me the sum of the top five. I'll hit enter, and it gets 61,747. Now to get the sum of the bottom five, virtually the same thing, except I'm going to use the small function. So equals sum ifs. My sum range is column B. My criteria range is also column B, and now my criteria is I'm going to use less than or equal to, and concatenate that with the small function my array is the same. I'm going to use the fifth smallest. Close that, and now there's the sum of the bottom five. So the sum of those 10 is going to be the 61 million plus the 251,000 is almost $62 million. And then the sum of my total sales minus that is going to be my total sales minus that 61 million. So that is the sum of the 490. Now the average then for those would be this total divided by 490. And now I've been able to calculate the average of my total sales minus the top and bottom five from my list. It's not significantly different, but it's still eliminated $73,000, $72,000 of average sales from that list. Now, can I do that all in one formula? Sure. What I'm going to do is take equals sum, and my sum is going to be of column B. And from that, I'm going to subtract, I'm going to put in parentheses, sum ifs, my sum range, my criteria range. And my criteria is going to be greater than or equal to, and concatenate that with the large function, column B, 5 close that and close, close the large function and the sum ifs function. I'm going to add to that another sum ifs function, sum range column B, 
criteria range column B, the criteria is going to be less than or equal to and concatenating that with the small function. My array is column B. I'm going to use the fifth smallest. Close that, that, and that adds. Now that closes the parentheses for adding those two sum ifs together. And now I'm going to take that entire group there of the sum function plus the two sum ifs, or minus the two sum ifs, and I'm going to divide that by 490. And now I get my total, which is 2,637,983, which exactly matches what we had before. So I took all the information that I had up here and was able to put that all into one formula using a sum function, two sum ifs, a large, the small function, and then dividing all that by 490, which is my 500 accounts minus my top five and my bottom five. Now, what percentage did I eliminate? Well, I eliminated 10 out of my 500, so that's 2%. I eliminated 2% of my accounts. Well, an alternative way to do this is using the trim mean function. If we look at what that is, trim mean says it returns the mean, or the average, of the interior portion of a set of data values. So I'm going to hit tab. Now my array, again, is column B, and my percent is 2%. 2% says I want to eliminate 2% and how trim mean works, it will take half of that from the top and half from the bottom. So 1% off the top, 1% off the bottom, which in this case is 5 of my 500, which is 1% from the top and bottom. I close that parentheses, hit enter, and I have the exact same number, 2,637,983, that I was able to calculate using this more complicated sum, sum ifs, large, small, and dividing all that by 490. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.